Hi there guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 with me SneakyPsycho91. Now as you can see from the last video I did set up the campaign fundraiser. Um, you'll notice as well I did have a campaign fundraiser pretty soon before this one as well but I think just for the purposes of like getting through the career it can be quite handy to have like loads of these parties. And anyway it's um, it's just nice to have other people over, have the have all sets of twins socialising. Why ever not? Why ever not? Oh, got a bit of flirting going on, have we? A little rub 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 under the table. That was just my way of flirting there, guys. It didn't work, did it? It's just a way for everyone to relax, really. I mean, none of them are at the um, toddler age, so they wouldn't be crying them to themselves or having to be taken care of, which is really quite good for this, I think. You can see someone's trying to flirt with somebody, and that didn't go very well, did it? Who is that, anyway? I can't even see. I like their dress, though. It's very pretty. So there's Jamie there trying to get up his um, celebrity status by being. Oh no, it's Jamie. Oh no, it's, no, it's his dad, isn't it? <laughs> From this angle, it looked a bit like Nick Alto. So, um, but yeah, I thought you know, because you know he doesn't really chat to his dad that often, and his dad's quite famous. So, why ever not? Why ever not let them socialise and get to know each other once again before before it's too late? anything to raise a celebrity status. <laughs> um, but no, I think a wedding's going to have to be a big one to do as well, because I think Jamie's at that stage now where if he did get engaged and married and in a relationship, it would... it would really boost up his status, I think. Yeah, I really went for it, didn't I? Blimmin' heck. <laughs> Oh yeah, someone just... That's not a fire in my household, by the way. It's just the bonfire, so no need to... No need to call the cops. But yep, um, Victoria can throw a test tube... No, I think anyone can throw a test tube in there, really. But um, yeah, those are the different various options you can get with the bonfire, um, which is part of the Sims 3 University pack. Um, it's quite a lot of fun, I won't lie. It's also... You can also have a juice cake party, but... Um, that is, um, you, you don't quite get drunk, you get um, what's called juiced, which I think is a way of protecting the young children from learning about the dangers of getting drunk. Um, but yeah, that's what you can do as well. See, everyone's leaving the party now and giving me lots and lots of money to help me progress through this career. Just under 10,000 simoleons isn't bad at all, really. is isn't my best, but it isn't bad. Like, as I say, that can depend on the um, wealth of the sim as well, of the sim attending the party. So if it's like a super rich sim who's a millionaire, they'll give you, like, loads of money. Whether it actually comes out of their own household is another matter, I think. Because obviously you, you don't control the household, so... You know, you could be bleeding these guys dry for all you know. Yeah, everyone's back after bed because tomorrow is another day at work. No rest for the wicked, eh? No rest for the wicked sims. Although, to be fair, none of my sims are actually evil or mean-spirited or grumpy or just plain spitefully mean and things like that. Which is nice, which is nice. Um, okay. Not really much to say apart from the fact that they're going to bed. Fun, fun, fun. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I do like the um, the Uber Sunny Sim toilet, which um, Edward's using now. Um, well, was using, but um, it, it's a toilet I've got throughout the house. But 
um, you, you get it as premium content on the Sims 3 store and what it does is it it completely fills up your bladder aspect I think it's unbreakable um, it also I think it brings up your hygiene as well but it also brings up your fun because it has a music player on it which you can set the music for etc and it leaves you feeling like really relaxed it costs about 5,000 simoleons but I absolutely love it I really do completely worth it I think as I say that's available from the Sims 3 store so if you go uh, there and get that you should have some fun toilet time I think is that appropriate fun toilet time I don't know I don't think it is um, yeah the one I just given Sam there is hardly hungry um, if you are if you really can't stand having to feed your sims all the time due to them doing stuff and having to um, what do you call it um, like having to feed them when you well, when you want to go do something else. I say there just to be sure I don't lose any data. I think because it froze a little bit there, I panicked and I thought, oh my word, what if I've gone through all this again? I have to change up the family and everything and it's going to be annoying, someone's going to be corrupted. But, um... Um... Yeah, I've completely forgotten what I'm saying again. Yeah, they're hardly hungry. Yeah, if you're really annoyed with the fact you have to feed them, which, I don't know, it's a basic living need, but sometimes I get annoyed at it myself. Given the hungry, the hardly hungry mood lit, because I do find that quite effective, really, so you can really get on with the rest of your everyday life. Um, yeah, the ones that, like, mean you rarely have to fill up the basic needs, so the hunger one's hardly hungry, um, bladder will be still bladder, hygiene, dirt defiant, the fun one's carefree, the energy one is meditative trance sleep, and the rest I don't really know. Um, I don't know what happened with the screen there, I think I might have, um, I might have, like changed the game volume where to check something outside the screen, but that was blooming, that was a little bit worrying there just looking at that. Um, but no, the, I don't know if there's a social one specifically to keep the bar like completely full of social, which to be honest, I don't think there is a specific one because, hey, what's life without constantly talking to your friends? And what's life without me constantly sitting on the computer talking on a screen? Very, very similar, really, aren't they? Aren't they? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Sam does not want to go on a date. He's married. Will people... I tell you... Sunset Valley it's like it's like a soap opera but worse because they have no sense of morals they don't have any true real world serious life consequences except in their game <laughs> according to a code system somewhere in the git in the cd or download of the game um yeah it's it, it's a very weird one, really. So I've just sent Jamie for a um, volcanic clay bath, just in case he does get um, a discount from that. There's enough money in the pot to do it anyway, so even if he didn't get a discount, it's still quite nice. Really, it 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 is quite nice. Um, yeah. No, it, exactly, he just got half of it off, so really can't complain, really cannot complain. What I would say as well about the celebrity um, celebrity lifestyle is if you are quite poor, for example, and you're really having to do it from scratch and work hard, you get free stuff depending on what level of celebrity you are, but some of the stuff you get can be really useful if you're really low on wealth. So say you are really poor and um, you're like a level 3 or 4 celebrity, you might get a dishwasher or a... Um, or a settee, or sometimes you can get a car, you know, the, these sort of things could really help you. So anyone who wants to be a celebrity sim, just, you know, think of those perks. Think of those perks. And you see, I'm trying to get Jamie to talk to another celebrity, who's clearly not there, because he has, um, I don't know where he is actually, I think. I don't think he's gone to work just yet, but he's about to go to work. Which makes this aspect of it a gigantic waste of my time. As you can see. Wait for it. 
See, he Con Connor Frio greets him. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, maybe not actually. I thought we had to go to work. No, oh, maybe not. But yeah, we well, know he is. He is actually part of my mistake. Um, but you could see there's different ways of befriending the celebrities as well by talking about wealth, any other celebrities you know, um, occupations. You want to talk about the things that they're interested in and so for example um, Conor Frio is a culinary guy and he likes cooking and things like that so if you talk about cooking with him he'll be impressed and then you can socialise with him. Um, in terms of the wealth as well, that one only really works if you are um, if you're actually rich otherwise if you talk about wealth when you're poor they'll be like ha hey, you lie or you know you're poor and we're gonna not progress this bar so you can talk to us properly like normal human beings yeah <laughs> um yep so I've decided to go for goodbye as coffee instead um I did once on one playthrough of Sunset Valley just um I think I was doing the Gold Digger Lifetime reward achievement. Sorry, not Lifetime Wish. And because Goodbye is coffee, I think he was quite rich when I did it. And um, I basically married him and then killed him trying to do the Gold Digger Lifetime Wish. But what I did was instead of um, instead of when I got married moving into his house, he moved into mine. So he then didn't become rich anymore, which meant that the achievement was officially made redundant as you will so oh yeah we got her as a resident now fantastic she might need to go out um do you know it's, it's, it's these little things you got to think about when you're playing the game which at the time I didn't think about and as a result I um I didn't complete that achievement at that point oh well you see, Victoria's got a um, scientific journal there, which somehow she was magically able to write within a day. And look there, I've chosen Edward's Lifetime Wish, which is super popular. For those of you who don't know, super popular is an achievement where you have a wish. I need to stop saying achievement. It's a lifetime wish where you have to make 20 friends. Which, to be honest, if you've got some of the, um, for example, legendary hosts I've just got in there, if you've got things like that, it's really not difficult. So when it comes to it, hopefully it shouldn't be a difficult one to do. But nevertheless, that is for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3. So do I get that achievement? You're gonna have to watch in a in another in another episode. Hey ho. Let's carry on. Um so yep, she's finished reading that. Um She's gonna have a quick bath before she goes to bed, to be fair. She's she had quite a stressful day at the hospital, probably blood everywhere. I'd wanted to I'd wanted to have a bath as well to be honest if that was the case Sam's yeah that um that's in relation to the um spa which is next to the bedroom um a couple of things I'd note about the um about the bedroom area firstly that bedroom's locked exclusively to Sam and his missus so the way I sort of imagined the this house, it'd be exclusive to the master of the household, if you will, and their other half. Which means that the spa area, which is on the right hand side, is locked to the rest of the household apart from those two. Just to make it nice and romantic, really, and exclusive. Not only that, this spa area, it has something, you can have something called a revitalising mud bath, which, um, if you have it, um, not only does it make you feel like really fresh and everything, it actually makes you younger by a day. Which, if I'm trying to shift Sims out of the household through age-related death or other means, isn't very helpful really. Um, so I have to try and control that as much as I can, as as evil as that sounds really. Um, but again, the spa is a premium item from the Sims 3 store. Um, some things you can do with it, you can make steamed vegetables. Um, which is quite a weird one considering it's a spa. Um, you have hydrotherapy, which is really, really good if you're like practicing athletics. Because if when you do athletics, you um, after you don't for a certain period of time and you can't physically carry on anymore, you um, 
you get the fatigue mood lit, which means you can't exercise anymore. But if you go to the spa and then have some hydrotherapy, it um, it basically just makes you ready to do athletics again, which is fantastic, to be honest. Um, it's really, really, really useful in, the, in that sense. Um, again, premium content from the Sims 3 store. Um, you can also get it as the gold edition of um, the Sunlit Tides world. Uh, Sunlit Tides I really do recommend, I really really enjoyed that one. It's like a basically a, a holiday island paradise sort of style, which oddly enough is the name of the next expansion pack, I know, I just couldn't think of any other way to describe it. Um, but, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and if you get the gold edition you can get that spa and the massage table which is pretty awesome. Not only that, in Sunlit Tides you also get the Pleasant Family. For those of you who don't, who aren't avid fans of The Sims or haven't been following religiously since day one, the Pleasants are a family that, considering the head of the household in the f second game, uh, you have Daniel and Mary Pleasant. Uh, while Daniel's works in athletics and Mary works in business. Daniel's a bit of a Lothario, if you will, and he likes to go and sleep with maids and anyone else who is willing. And they also have two teen twin daughters in the game. Sorry, in the um, in the second game called Lilith and Angela. But in Sunlit Tides, they're portrayed as a couple that have just got married. So no Lilith, no Angela. You could kind of rewrite history, so maybe they were never born. Personally, I don't like to do that. I like to recreate Lilith and Angela, if I'm going to, which isn't that difficult at all because basically you, um, uh, the, 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 with the spa, you can actually try for certain types of children, certain genders, and not only that, you can also, um, with the, what do you call it? the massage table. You can give your other half a romantic massage and if you get a romantic massage you get the feeling fertile mood lit, which dramatically increases your chances of twins or triplets. So technically you could have a romantic massage and then try for a girl and get twin girls. That's why I like to try and get Lilith and Angela if I can. Although I do wonder if the Sims maybe um, gen generally tried to have it tailored that way maybe. Spooky. What um, Jamie's using at the moment to get completely back on track is a little bubble blower, which you get with the Sims 3 late night. A lot of fun, you get different flavours with the bubbles, and it's just pretty awesome. Usually as well, it's in the um, it's in the VIP area, which kind of bodes well for the celebrity status. And also the younger twins are at prom, just so I know. Um, oh, Edward's got a... Edward's got a missus. Um... William, not so much. William, not so much. Um, no. Oh, no. William's got a woman called Doris. Isn't that sweet? William and Doris. Will and Doreen. Isn't that cute? Oh, They've both got girlfriends. How lovely. I can't understand why they also get in fights as well. It's not. I don't tailor it in their nature to have fights. And that's what kind of gets a little bit to me. It's like, hey, hey, you looked at me funny. I'm going to fight you. I didn't tell them to do that. I see, William's not in a very good mood now. Why is that? He's got a girlfriend. What's the matter with him? Blooming grumpy. So they're just looking at their girlfriends at the moment. Just trying to get a gauge of what they look like. Just to get an idea in my head of who I'm who I'm who I've got here. Oh, Sam has an exploring their options reputation. Or naughty. Can't quite decide. The game cannot decide. Um, yep, so in the next video we are going to be looking at what's going to happen next? Will William and Doris get it together? Will Edward and Lindsay get it together? And what the heck's going to happen with Jamie? Um, and will BB and Victoria get to the top of their careers? There's only one way to find out by watching the next episode, but until then, I've been Sneaky Psycho 91.
Thanks for watching, guys.